To get started, we need to attach our feed table guides. To do this, you will need a Phillips screwdriver and the supplied screws. Place the guides onto the side frame and insert the screws into the pre-drilled holes. There are two screws for each guide. Load standard polyin film, stand behind the machine, remove the mandrel, and insert it into the roll of film, making sure that the film will unroll from the bottom of the roll into the machine. And replace the mandrel. Now remove the bottom mandrel and insert it into the roll of film, making sure that the film will unroll off the top of the roll and into the machine. And replace the bottom mandrel. Feed the bottom film all the way under the bottom heat chute, but on top of the base plate until it comes out the front of the machine. Then lower the rear runoff table. Now thread the top film under the top idler bar and over the top heat chute. Raise the heat shield and lay the film as flat as possible across the heat shoe. Now take the bottom film and overlap it onto the top film. The motor control switch is located on the right side plate. The heater control switch is located on the left side plate. And your temperature control dial is located on the left side cover. Go ahead and adjust the temperature control knob to about halfway for a good starting point. Now turn the heat control switch on and allow the machine to warm up for approximately 30 minutes. Now turn on the motor switch. Gently insert the starter card into the rollers. The wrinkles on the heat shoe will generally run themselves out within a few feet of film. If the wrinkles persist, you may tighten the mandrel tension by rotating the tension nut on the mandrel. Once again, turn on your motor switch and begin feeding the product into the front rollers. Your finished product will exit the back of the machine. Now stop the motor and proceed to slip the film and take it to your final trimming. To remove the film, slip the film above the top heat chute. Now lift the heat shield and remove the feed table. Now you can trim the bottom roll of film.
carefully hold the motor control switch in reverse while pulling the film out of the front rollers.